Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Okay, this is the seventh dungeon, um, Eagle's Tower. Um, first thing we want to do, of course, is uh, we want to equip our oh, Rock's Feather, make it easier to get through these. I should have made that easier, but it didn't. Okay, and then we want to get kill these uh, like likes and grab the key as soon as it falls down. Okay, and then next, we want to go up here and um, go up in here. There's treasure chests there, but for now, we're going to ignore it and we're going to ignore that ball. So, the next thing we want to do is uh, pull this open. And we can fall down this one hole right here. As soon as we do, we will fall down into here. So, anyways, after we do that, uh, hold on. I scratched my leg. My leg was itching. But anyways, after we do that, we want to go. Okay, we want to go this way. And then down and open the chest for the beak okay then we want to go up we want to right okay three screens and then we want to go up so up. Oh, this is a new enemy we have here that's called a um, anti-Kirby so if you've uh, played a Kirby game or anything or even heard of Kirby you know who he is or played Smash Brothers um, some other things I've never played a Kirby game but I still know who Kirby is so anyways from here <clears throat> uh, we actually read this and it will tell us Jump off the floor above to reach the chest on the table. So, we'll be using that little piece of advice in a minute. Okay, the next thing we want to do is uh, walk down again. And uh, we want to hit this crystal switch. And we want to go left and kill these enemies. And then after that, we want to uh, go uh, down. Then we want to go this way. Then we want to kill the enemies here. Oof. And go down. Ah, you stupid thing. Kill the light lights again and go up. And we can open this chest for the mirror shield. So, okay, you got the mirror shield. You can now turn back beams that you couldn't block before. So, the next thing we actually want to do is fall down this hole here, and we'll be brought here. So, we want to go up and up again, and open this chest, and we will get a small key. So, as soon as we do that, we want to go ahead and uh, jump off this ledge and watch out for the Kirby that just ate me. There you go. Alright, you go up. We can avoid the P hats and the Beemos and go here. The okay, next thing we have is some of these horse heads again. Oof. Anyways, again, we're going to have to toss them. And, oh, that was quick. I think that was one of the quickest one I've done. So anyway, from here we want to go ahead and head down, and then we want to go right. So let's kill the zoles as we go through, and go in here. So after we do that, <clears throat> the thing about it is, okay, you read this, and it'll say the riddle is solved when uh, pillars fall. Oh, okay. So as then as soon as we we read that. Uh, first thing we want to do actually is pick up <coughs> this big 
bowling ball looking deal and throw it close to there so we can get it quick because we have to be quick to do this so I'm gonna go there got the ball and go oh darn I was slow see can't be doing that so hopefully this won't take me a lot of tries I've had it where it's taken me 10 tries I've had it where I did it once so oops yeah too slow again so go ahead and pull it again pull it again Oof, Lord have mercy all right and then go and we get stuck again great so let's go ahead and throw it again Pulling, pull. okay go through here grab it and ugh. Oh, I hate when this happens. Last time I did this, I did it with one try. There we go. Whew. That was close. So, we want to knock down four pillars. And this right here will be pillar number one. You want to throw it from the right side. If not, it might find out, fall down a hole or something. So, you want to do that. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and go down here. And throw this one. Here's that. So that's two of the four pillars down so then after we do that um hold on okay the next thing we want to do is <clears throat> pick up this ball and go here and go ahead and just uh, throw it just for a second and push that out of the way so I'm not sure you can push it while holding the ball if you can you can but I don't think you can so anyways, uh, we have some more of these uh, three of a kind enemies like that was in the first dungeon. So we just defeat them the same way we did before. Hopefully this won't take too many hits to do this, I hope. And that didn't work. So, yeah, that didn't work either. I knew that one could work after the second one because it was already a different suit. So, oh, that was so close. Nope. Okay. Come on. This can take <laughs> quite a few hits here. Okay, come on. Nope. That didn't work. Nope. Come on. Yeah, the corner. Dang. See? It could take a few shots. It could take a lot. If I don't make it this time, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And then be back. I did make it. Okay. I didn't make it, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And then I'll be right back whenever I do make it. So. Okay. Uh, that took forever. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyways, afterwards, you get the compass for doing all this. So, gosh, that should not have taken that long. So it wasn't required, but I'm a. Unfortunately, I'm a completionist, and I like to uh, do everything there is to do. So, first thing you want to do is throw that ball, like I just did. And then you want to go down the stairs. And you want to kill some enemies. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is uh, go left along the top part of the screen. And you'll see another anti-Kirby. So go ahead and kill him. There you go. So. Oh, my nose is itching. So after that. I believe we want to go into these... Uh, Actually, first, I believe you want to go into here. No, not here. I think you want to go down one more and go into here. No, I'm wrong. I'm stupid. Uh, oh, no, my bad. You want to go up here first. That's right. And then, after that, I believe you want to go down and kill this Hinox. So, just keep doing it. Be careful not to get knocked down any of the holes. 
so. Got that key. Um, I actually probably didn't want to do that yet, but uh, that gets him out of the way and gives you some life. So after that, what you want to do is go up here and bring out your uh, level 2 shield, aka your mirror shield, and hold it up. That will open the door for you. And because I'm getting so sick and tired of this thing, I'm going to kill it. There you go. So, <laughs> anyways, after you do that, you will be dropped down here and you want to pick up this and toss it. There we go. We knocked down most of them so far. So, push this down the hole. I don't know who and go uh, I think you want to do that next and use your feather to jump okay and then after that you want to pick it up clip it first pick it up again <clears throat> and go so push this out of the way and if you want uh, next thing you well hold on so you don't want to do that yet you want to put throw this over here first I believe I hope I did that right so go down here actually I didn't want to go down there um, shoot I just really did not want to go down there um, bring it back up here So, yeah, I did not want to go down there. Um, can do that over there, which I think is what we needed to do. So, um, hold on for one second. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, what actually we want to do after we threw this thing down there as we wanted to go up twice and then we wanted to go left again and then go up and uh, left see um hold on these things out of the way okay anyways after that I'm sorry yeah we wanted to go down these steps that's right so we want to go this way, and this is when we wanted to kill that Henox that I killed before. Um, so if you killed it then, then okay, that's fine. But we didn't actually want to kill it at that time. So we have to go down. This is where I killed the Henox. We can drop on this side and go up. all the way up and once we hit this it will either if you got all 20 of uh, the shells and uh, got your sword it'll be 20 rupees if you haven't it will be uh, or if you haven't it'll be 20 rupees if or sorry uh, backwards if you have it'll be 20 rupees if you haven't it'll be secret seashell number six 26 and the last one of the game so if you haven't got it by now you can look at my other LPs or somebody else's videos and um, you can uh, get those so anyway after that you want what you want to do is keep going down here going back to these steps here jump down and go back up the steps so and then I'm going to kill these guys because they're bugging me and kill you <laughs> and you okay so and then from there we want to go back to the room where we fought the Hinox so it's right here and then we want to go right and we can get these uh, uh 
another set of these guys, so. Huh? Okay, so. Again, uh, like always, you want to get them in the same shape. And that one actually was really quick compared to the last time. And actually, we'll need that one, I believe. So, um, yeah. So, what you want to do is go through here, I believe. Yeah. And there's your ball. Yeah. Hold on, this one had the thing, right? No, it didn't. Okay. So, we'll equip our thing and pick it up. So, that we want to go here and we want to toss the ball up here. So, and then after we do that, we want to go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, we want to go to that room with the one door, uh, one way door. So, let's go ahead and go through there. And then again, get your shield out, wherever it is, here it is, and equip it. So and then after here, you do that, you'll hear the sound and you'll want to place a bomb. I can't believe I just passed the bombs right there. Go down. And then again we'll place another bomb here. And go down again. So after that, if you read this, you can't go wait. If you can't go over the poles, try throwing things you have in your hands, which we did, which was that ball up there. So, after that, we can equip the hook shot and go across and open this. Actually, we didn't need that. It's a bomb, but oh well. Might need it. <laughs> Never know when you run out of bombs. Okay, so, next thing we want to do is equip our uh, car bracelet again. And, oops, pick it up. And throw it. Okay, so we have that little scene there. So um I can't remember. Okay, we wanna go down and fall into a gap. Just gap, I guess. <laughs> and we will arrive back at the dungeon entrance. Okay, from the dungeon entrance, we want to go ahead and uh, go right. Two screens here, and I keep forgetting to put this. And we want to kill these light likes again. And I believe we want to go up on the uh, right side of the screen, yeah. And then we'll go up these steps again. And then uh, after that we want to go down and use the key on this locked block here and go up it. And I believe, oof, can you remember? Um, let me think, let me think. Okay, we want to go ahead and go up here and climb up the steps. No, we didn't want to do that. Ugh. My ah, bad. Hold on one second. I mean, um, oh well, we can just play this to get back to the beginning. That's right. Okay, I screwed up for a second, but since we didn't do that much, it's, uh, well, once we got back to the dungeon entrance again, that is. It'll be pretty easy, and I don't know why I put to that instead of my, uh, which my doodle? My, um, <laughs> my, uh, blah, 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 blah. rock's feather. There we go. Ugh, can't think. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go back up here. Ah, get away from me. Okay, so after we do that, 
want to oh is it okay want to head left the screen and hit the switch oh yeah we want to hit the switch and ah, 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 die okay anyway hit the switch and now they're lowered so want to head up these steps here and kill these guys that I can't remember what their name is. Come on. Ugh, they're blocking me. Stop blocking me. Okay. These guys are a pain. There we go. Ah. Okay, you dodo birds. Okay. <laughs> and then, after that, we want to go up. Actually, do we want to go up? I uh, can't even remember anymore. Um. Yeah, we did, because, yeah. Okay. So, we want to go this way. And we'll see the, this, uh, the mini boss. He's called the Grim Creeper. So, he says, hey, Ron, you think you can take me? All right, boys, get this punk out of my face. All right. So, he'll send out a bunch of bird enemies. And hopefully, you'll, uh, if you don't kill all of them, he sends out. Say, ha, that's all you've got. Get ready for this. So, what you want to do is kill all six of them. I usually do pretty well on the this installment of it. So, hopefully I'll do it this time too. Yep. So, if you do that, he says, you dirty rat. You beat my brothers. You'll pay. I'll never forget you. Alright. So, anyways, from there, we want to go up. And we can uh, get all these guys here. And do that. And we can hit this once. And push these next to each other. And open this. And we get the uh, nightmare key. Okay, and then, uh, like always, that'll lead us to uh, the boss lair. So, after we do that, we want to go ahead and go down. And then go left. And left again. And then we can uh, either kill these Goombas or if you want to, you can use the, uh, what should we call it? The Rocks Feather to uh, jump on them and get hearts. Every time you jump on them, like always, every time you jump on them, you get a heart. So from here, we want to go ahead and go up. And we can avoid these enemies again. Okay. And go up again. So. And then, um, after that, we'll be in this room, and we want to go ahead and go in here, I believe. Yeah. And we can kill the Zol. And this is going to be a lot more difficult, considering we have this Beemos to deal with. So, we can, uh, throw the horse head, and throw the horse head again. Please, man. Thank you. Okay. And you get a secret medicine. So, you can only hold one, so if you already had one... There will not be a secret medicine in there for you. So, um, yeah. so the next thing we actually want to do is uh, go up here, I believe. Yeah, and um, yeah, we want to use the hook shot here, and we can kill this Goomba enemy again. And kill him again. Yeah. Okay. And then we can uh, go up here. And now we are close to the boss, which is the evil eagle. So before I go up here, that we'd find around, you can um, either kill him with your sword or the hook shot. And it takes six shots, I believe, from both of them to do it. But it can be very difficult because he can um, <laughs> knock you off which happened to me a lot during practice so hopefully it won't happen a lot this time so go up the ladder bah, I'm not gonna hold back I'm gonna make you wish you were never born hey that's kind of a not a very good thing to say in a Nintendo game anyway <laughs> the evil eagle will fly around and pick him up and he'll ride on him for the duration of this battle so I forgot I used my hook shot so that's one. 
Yeah. Alright. Two. Darn. Three. So halfway done, as long as he don't knock us off the tower. Oh, what she just did. Ah. I was not prepared, so. Ugh, and again. That's okay. At least I didn't hit him once that time. I didn't hit him many times. So, See? It's, it doesn't usually do that, so I'm not prepared for that. Anyways. That was one. Ah, just. Yeah, missed again. Two. Three. So. No! Ah! Almost hit on there. But basically what you have to do is, uh, what I was doing, hold out your shield and walk towards him. So, he didn't do it that time. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. There we go. Ugh. Urgh. Five sickles. Alright. One. So... This is <laughs> this is actually more annoying than having to fight the Moldorm in the third Light World dungeon on Link to the Past. Ugh. And I didn't think it was possible to have a boss more annoying than that, but <laughs> this evil eagle here sure is proving me wrong. I don't even know what number that was, two or three, I'm not sure. Ah, blow me off! Dang it! Ugh. I may wind up having to cut this depending on how long it is to shoot this boss battle. I've only hit him once so far. That's two. Come on. Ugh. Yeah. I hit him that time. Bull. And he can only, as you can probably notice, he can only be hit from his hurt from his head so yeah. see I stupidly didn't pay attention and I got knocked off again so that seems to happen if you're not paying attention ah. darn it that shouldn't have knocked me off see that's that bull all right one two Let's see what's he doing now three I'm expecting him to uh, do that deal again. Ugh. See, this is bull. Shouldn't be doing it. Ugh. Come on, don't get ma mad at a doggone Zelda game. This is fun, but also can be very frustrating if you keep getting knocked off like I keep doing. And I hate that it makes you start the boss over if you uh, fall down. Yeah. I'm going to try to stay near the center, but I can never figure out which way he's going to come from. So I'm guessing he's going to come from there, yeah. And then he's going to come from here somewhere. Yeah. I'm guessing wherever he's going to go, he's going to come from. Oh, no, no, no! Darn it! He should have came from the other side. See, that tricked me. I thought he was going to come from the, the other side since he came from that side last time, but he didn't. I'm thinking he's going to go... From here, yeah, but I, I stalled and didn't hit him. But that's two. I think he's gonna come from this side. So I'm hoping that's what we can do. That's three. I think he's gonna come from this side. Yeah. And see, that time I didn't get blown off. Thank gosh. Oof. Let's see, I wasn't sure what he was gonna do. Was kind of ugh. Stalling there. I think that was four. I 
think the five, I think I only got out here one more time, so please be careful. Please, 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 please don't let me up, don't let me up, don't. Oh, good. Come on, please. Yes, my energy. Go on, I right. lost. But you will be lost too if the wind fish wakes. Same as me, you are in his dream. Okay, so there we go. Finally defeated him. And we get the heart container. So, that's, uh. <laughs> so that's, uh. Almost it. We just got one more heart piece to collect, which I think is around the, uh. Total Rock Dungeon, so. Or the next dungeon we have to go to, so. Anyways, after you do that, you want to go ahead and, uh, ooh, Lord have mercy, jump down and go up. Here we get the next instrument, the Organ of Evening Calm. Oh, Lord have mercy, all these belts, you know, keep trying to hold back. You got the Organ of Evening Calm. Ocarina, the music of the Ocarina leads. So yeah, so that's uh, <laughs> Eagle Tower. So next time we will uh, make our way toward the uh, eighth and final dungeon before we have to beat the final boss of the game. So until next time, thank you for watching everybody and have a good day.